Welcome everyone to Easy Code Is, where you the users determine what features I will be implementing. If there's something you want to learn when coding a website, leave a comment and I just might make a video about it. Today we're learning about, uh, what are we learning about? Oh, uh, putting a website online. Currently our Easy Code Is website is running on my local WAMP server. Head over to localhost slash easy code is, and there's our website, our homepage, full screen video background with some content below it, and we have a repository on GitHub for it. Now we need to get this online under a domain so everybody can see it. The first step in getting our website online is purchasing a domain name. I'm gonna head over to GoDaddy and get my domain name. Now the domain name I've purchased is easy code is. Search for that and you can see it's been taken. I bought it, so it's under my account. So you're gonna to wanna to search for a domain name here until it's available. For example, easy code is two, probably available. Search for that, and you see we have domain available. So you would follow the steps here, add it to cart, and proceed to checkout, pay for it, and then it will pop up under your domains. So I've bought easycodeis.com, and it appears here under my domains. Now that our domain has been purchased, we need web hosting. This is where uh, we will upload our files and we will point the domain we just purchased to our web hosting provider. Uh, there's a few web hosting providers to choose from. I'm gonna ho hop over to HostGator because that's where I host my websites through. There's HostGator, there's SiteGround, just thinking off the top of my head, there's Bluehost. And see, you can get it for very cheap. You know, it's like five bucks a month on any of these platforms. So just select the hosting platform and go ahead and purchase your shared hosting. Once you've purchased a web hosting plan from HostGator, Bluehost, SiteGround, wherever, you're gonna wanna log into your control panel. In there, you're gonna look for the DNS info and you're gonna wanna find the name servers. No matter what web hosting provider you decide to go with, they all will provide you with your name servers. Under HostGator here in our control panel, I find my name servers right here under DNS info. These are what we are going to use to point our domain on GoDaddy to our web hosting provider. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to copy name server one, the primary and the secondary, and you're gonna to wanna to go back to GoDaddy and you're gonna to wanna to click on the DNS button right here. So we're gonna click on the DNS button for easy code is. And in name server one, you will place your primary name server found in your control panel from your hosting provider. And then you will copy the secondary name server and paste that in the name server too. And then you will click save. Now our domain has been pointed to our web hosting provider. So when a user types in your domain in the address bar, that domain will use these name servers to direct to your web hosting provider where our website files will be stored. Now we're gonna hop back over to our cPanel and create ourselves an FTP user. Again, no matter what web hosting provider you're on, search for FTP and click on the FTP accounts. Here's where we're gonna add our FTP account. You're gonna add your login, password, and then click create FTP account. Now our user has been created. Once we have created our FTP account, login and a password, I'm going to head over to FileZilla. If you don't have FileZilla, go ahead and download it and open it up. You want to come up here under the Site Manager. Under Site Manager, you're going to want to click New Site. You're going to enter your host name, the protocol, and the encryption. These are the defaults for my web hosting provider. Down here is where you're going to enter your user name and your password that you created in your cPanel. And then you're going to click Connect. Down here in the right corner is your web hosting provider. These are all the files on the web hosting provider. The folder we're looking for is public underscore HTML. We're going to double click on that and it will take us into the folder. As you can see, it's empty. If I head over to easycodeis.com, we get a blank page because there's no files on our web server. So back in FileZilla, the public underscore HTML folder, this is the folder where everybody gets driven to when they type in your domain name into a web browser. I'm going to copy all of the folders from my repository on GitHub, easy code is. I'm just gonna drag them in here. FileZilla will upload them. Down here, we can see the files being uploaded and their status. All right, and then we get alerted that the transfer is finished. Our files have been uploaded to our web hosting server. We refresh our page. 
our website is now online. Anybody can see our Easy Code Is website by just going to easycodeis.com. Well, we've done it. We have successfully put our website online for the world to see. Let's do a quick recap of how we got our website online. We bought our domain on GoDaddy, and then we purchased web hosting through a web hosting provider. We found our name servers on our web hosting provider, and we entered those name servers in GoDaddy. This points GoDaddy to our web hosting server. We then created an FTP account and used FileZilla to log in with that account and upload our files. And that is why I say easy code is. That's going to do it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you want to learn and see implemented next. Remember, easy code is, and I'll catch you later.